I was in a pub in Queenstown with a few other guys. Um, we were just having a feed there and I don't know, we weren't really sitting down watching it or anything like that, but um, yeah, it was all, all exciting. A complete surprise. Um, my main thing was just to really concentrate on performing for the Tars to the best of my ability and, and yeah, it was lucky enough, or well, am lucky enough to be here now. Yeah, you've got to ask questions if you don't know, so I don't know, I didn't know whether I was supposed to be in kit down to breakfast and just a quick message to a mate, um, don't have to be, you have to be, or yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, we're all helping each other and, and then, yeah, it's, it's, it honestly is the little stuff, you know, like um, clothes, shoes or stuff like that that you might not really think about, um, but yeah, it sort of goes with the discipline of the team and stuff like that. Hoops and Nard have been really good to me. Um, they obviously have been in that situation coming into a side and yeah, just um, asking them a quick question over WhatsApp or something like that is, yeah, is really helpful. Um, Jack, uh, you know, he was so you know, don't make sure you're not late for the bus and things like that. So, but um, yeah, it's all pretty clear. We have a briefing in the morning and yeah, um, massage times and physio times and things like that. You just got to make sure you're on time for. I first got into it in Canberra in the under 12s. Played a bit of soccer or attempted to play some soccer. Um, up until then, and yeah, and then came down to Sydney uh, to school, and then yeah, played it, played it throughout school. And then sort of, yeah, after school, played at the prestigious club of Ranwick, um, and yeah, just carried on from there. Yeah, the RC is great, it's sort of, it's a lot quicker. Um, I sort of, I got injured about around six, so I didn't, uh, yeah, something like that, uh, so I didn't play the rest of it, but yeah, we had a good bunch of blokes down in the Eagles and just really enjoyed it. It was a good time for footy. Um, so yeah, no, it, it definitely helped. It's sort of play with new guys and different systems and stuff like that. All, all that experience with rugby, the more you play, the better you get, I guess. You, know, you sit down and watch a letter say with your family or your old man has a few guys that come over. And yeah, it's, all, it's always a dream, but it's still sort of got to pinch yourself, I guess. But yeah, it'll, if you get the opportunity to pull that jersey on, it will honestly be a dream come true. It's a pretty surreal moment. Um, you're not really expecting it and then, uh, you know, I thought it was pretty special <clears throat> on uh, Thursday when Czech said uh, I was in, but yeah, that out there is second to nothing. Um, I expected it to be awesome and it was everything and more. It sort of was a bit of a blur to be honest. Um, everything's happening at a bit of, bit of pace and you just try and do your role and uh, control the things uh, you, know, you can control. So that's what I sort of concentrated on. And, um, yeah, look, I, I wish I could remember the finer details, but I'll have to go back and watch the video for that sort of thing. Kepps was actually um, next to me on my right, and he was he was bellowing the anthem out, so I just sort of uh, just joined him, and yeah, I think that's probably the one thing that I remember. Uh, he was just giving it everything, and you know, it's, it's such a special sort of occasion, and something I'll, I will, I'll honestly I'll never forget. The guys have been actually really good. Um, you know, there's a fair bit of knowledge stuff that we got through on Monday and, you know, Tuesday was we belted each other a bit. Uh, but yeah, the blokes have been awesome. And they obviously remember when they had their debut and, um, you know, they still remember it. And yeah, just the, the little tap on the arse and the, the handshake uh, means a lot. I'm really lucky um, throughout my entire, um, you know, obviously short career, but um, all throughout school and summer sports and winter sports and everything like that. Uh, my mother and father have been there every step of the way, um, and it was so good to have my little sister and brother here as well. So, yeah, you know, they talk about, um, you know, the sacrifices that we have to make sometimes um, to get, you know, you get the opportunity to get here, but the sacrifices they make, um, I think, is second to none. I remember as a little kid uh, going over to the next door neighbour's house and you just watch the gold jersey run around and you just think how awesome it would be, you know, just to be a part of it and, um, yeah, just to get the opportunity. Um, yeah, I'm really thankful and, uh, yeah, look, happy to say that I'm part of the Wallabies family.